Well, we're coming to an end to our house arrest Bible study, which is fitting since our house arrest is also kind of coming to an end. It's hard to tell exactly what's going on, but Paul's house arrest is also coming to an end. You see, Philippians is one of four books that he wrote while he was under house arrest. Colossians, Philemon, and Ephesians were all written early in his incarceration, his two-year incarceration, but Philippians was written near the end. In it, he says that he's looking forward to being released and coming back. We have a sense that these four books were written while he was there in Rome, and then some other books, like the books of Timothy and Titus, were written after he was released, and perhaps even was traveling on other missionary journeys. But this one is now coming to a close, and hopefully Paul is being released very soon. At least that's his sense. So we come to the end of the book, and at the end of the book, in chapter 4, verses 21 to 23, we see Paul's closing. Paul often has a very specialized closing to his books. In that closing, he extends some greetings from the people that he's around, and he also extends greetings to people that uh, are going to be reading the letter, and he ends the book with grace. Now, sometimes... Paul's closings are rather long and elaborate and take the form of what we now think of as benedictions, elaborate blessings that are given to people. But this time, it's rather short. He extends grace and not much more. I guess you could say that Philippians has more personalized information throughout the book. He talks about Epaphroditus. He talks about Syntyche and others. And so, in many ways, he's talking to the Philippians throughout the book about the help that they've sent, about the things that he sees in them. So, maybe a lot of extra things like that are not required at the end of this book. But I'd like you to read it. Look at how he says what he says. Look at the kinds of things he says. And anything in it that stands out to you as being significant or important, I'd like you to share. In the meantime, I want to thank all of you who have been part of the House Arrest Bible Study. This has been fun. It's been different for me. I expect maybe different for you. And I hope you got a lot, a lot out of the book of Philippians, thinking about joy, thinking about church unity, thinking about the things that were important to Paul and the enjoyment he had in his connection with the Philippian church. And I hope you too now feel a connection with the Philippian Church, having walked through with us the House Arrest Bible Study. Thanks for joining us.